Welcome to this chapter of Vedic Math. Uh, we're going to learn about two-digit multiplication above the base. Let's look at the next slide. 11 times 11. You can see it's 121. 12 times 11 is 132. 13 times 11 is 143. 14 times 11 is 154. Uh, I've already done some markings here for you to sort of recognize a pattern. You can see here yeah. 11 into 11. So if you take this number 11 and just add 1, you get 12. And then you take this one here and you add it right here. You're not adding it, you're just writing it. So you get 121. So it gets it clear in this particular um, calculation here 12 times 11. So 12 plus 1, you get 13. And this 2 here, right here, and your answer is 132. Similarly, 13 into 11, so 13 plus 1, you get 14, and 3, you can just write away, 14, and 143 is the answer. So this pattern sort of works for this table here. Now, let's say, you take 9, Oops. you take 9, and just right there to here, and 19 plus 1 is 20. And that's your answer to 0, 09. So it works all the way from 11 through 19, but it only works for this table um, whenever you're timing it into 11. Okay, for two digits. So either you can memorize this pattern. Uh, nothing wrong in there. That's going to help you. Um, or you can remember a simple method that we are about to learn. So what's the method? Uh, the chapter says multiplication of two digits and above the base. So let's see. Let's try this one. 11 times 12. Right. So what's the base here? Base would be 10. If it's closest. So here, it's 10 plus 1, and this is 10 plus 2. Earlier, we were finding complements. But 10 was our base, so complement of any particular number within the 10 it was rather easy to find because you, your 10 was whole. Here too, we are having using 10 as, as whole. And anything above 10, we write here with a plus sign. So earlier I had mentioned why we wrote plus sign. So it's for you to remember the next step. That's either you do 11 plus 2 or you do 12 plus 1, which would be 13. And this is multiplied together. So 1 into 2 is 2. And your answer is 132. Let's do some more problems and you will understand how this method works. And it's really easy. There's not much to remember. So Let's try this. Uh, 16 into 11. Right? So our base is 10. This is plus 6, and this is plus 1. And then the next step is. So our next step is add 
this. So 16 plus 1 is 17. 6 into 1 is 6. And there is your answer, 176. Now let's move to some complex numbers. <coughs> now let's see. Let's do this one. 12 to 13. So our base is 10. So 10 plus 2 gives us 12. And 10 plus 3 gives us 13. And the next step is either you do 12 plus 3 or you do 13 plus 2, which is 15. And 2 times 3 is 6. 156 is your answer. Next one. Let's do a very simple one. I just want you to understand that this method really works. Um, so here where we have base is 10. So this is plus 5. This is plus 0. Next step is 15 plus 0 or 10 plus 5. Either one you get 15 and 5 into 0 is 0. The answer is 150. See what else can we do? We can do fourteen times thirteen. So our base is ten plus four plus three. Next step is either fourteen plus three or thirteen plus four. This is going to be very interesting. So let's do 14 plus 3 is 17. And 4 times 3 is 12. Whoa, what just happened now? So whenever you run into these type of scenarios where multiplication of this leads you into multiple digits, right? So what we need to do is take this 7 and take this 1 and you add them, the two together. So that would give you 1, 8, 2. Well, there is your answer, 182. Let's do a couple more so you get, you understand properly. 14 times 16. So what do we get? Base is 10. This is plus 4. And this is plus 6. So either 14 plus 6 or 16 plus 4. So that gives us 16 plus 4 is 20. And 4 into 6 is turning 4. So adding 0 and 2, you get 2, 2, 4. And there's your answer. Just a few more. Thirteen into seventeen. Same thing, the base is ten. This is plus three and this is plus seven. And what are we gonna get? Thirteen plus 7 or 17 plus 3, that is 20, and 3, three into 7 is 21. 
we're going to take this 0, this 2, we're going to add that, and the response is 221. Let's do this 12 into 18. So the base is 10. This is plus 2, this is plus 8. And what are we going to get? 12 plus 8 or 18 plus 2, you get 20. And 2 into 8 is 16. So you're going to take this 0 and this 1. Add them. And the answer is 2, 1, 6. about 14 into 19 so the base is 10 here it's 10 plus 4 gives us 14 and 10 plus 9 gives us 19 and 14 into 9 or 19 into 4 yeah. 19 plus 4 is 23 and 4 into 9 is 36. We're going to add these two. So the answer is 266. Now if you would have done it in a traditional method, what would you have done? So 14, 19, 9 into 4 is 36, carry 3, and 1 plus 3 is 12, add a 0, 1 to 4, 4, 1 into 1 is 1, and there, 6, 6, and 2. So yeah, traditional method it's always going to be cumbersome. Uh, it is very difficult to remember all these positions and you could do it in your head but it's going to take you a long 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 time. Um, whereas if you use this particular method of above the base calculations You'll be able to do it very, very quickly. It's very easy to remember these placeholders and add them and coming up with responses. Um, I will be putting up um, worksheets. Uh, by the time you're solving this, they may already be up on the website. Visit the website nurtureminds.com to download and print the worksheets. Enjoy your calculations. No more boring stuff. Have fun.